Welcome back everyone to another episode of Hot Action Fishing and Fab. My name is Curtis and this is my channel. Uh, I know in my last episode of this skiff build I said that I was going to be installing the stringer into my boat but instead I decided that I'm going to do this bulkhead which you're going to watch me install in this episode. Um, just figured that was the best way to go about installing the stringers next. Uh, so yeah, just stay tuned, like, share, subscribe, um, comment if you have any questions on my uh, process in building this this little skiff. You know, any questions along the way, just just ask away. I'll do my best to answer them, and if I can't answer them, I'm I'm sure I can probably point you in the right direction and you know get you guys the answer that you want to know. Uh, but yeah, thank you all very much. First things first, I make my template. I don't have any professional way of going about this. I just start guessing with a sharpie marker and a razor knife. And if I mess up, I use either a glue gun or a piece of duct tape to fix my mess ups and start over. I do it this way so much that I'm kind of pretty good at it and it doesn't take me very many guesses to, to nail it. I just add pieces back in like this when I need it just to really tighten up the template. All right, that's how I make a template. The duct tape was kind of a I guess a quick way to, to do it, to get it done. Um, the best way to do it is with a hot glue gun, which I don't have a hot glue gun right now. Um, well, I can't find it. So I just use the, the duct tape to tab it. Usually I just hot glue a gun, hot glue a little bit on the back and then just stick it to the foam and then make my outline like that. But now after I cut my template out of the boat, this is the front bulkhead. Um, I'm just going to take my sharpie marker and just trace around the outside and take my tile knife and cut it out. Obviously this isn't perfect. This is just a rough template. After I cut this Venicel out, I'll test fit it, go back through, make my adjustments, keep dropping it and make sure it's, you know, it's perfect. After I get the Divina cell trimmed out to the way I want it, I'm coming in and cutting out my, my two ounce chop strand matting. Once again, I'm gonna do two layers of chop strand on each side of the Divina cell. It's gonna give me four ounces of chop strand matting on both sides. Should be perfect. Wet out your divinacel nice and heavy with your polyester resin. Lay up your chop strand matting over top of that. And then all I'm doing is just following it right up after I lay up my first layer of chop strand matting with my second layer of chop strand matting. And then I'm gonna let it cure and then I'm gonna flip it over and, and do the other side. Alright, I just got finished laying up the four ounces of chop strand matting on this front bulkhead and uh, did a little something off camera. This might come as a surprise, you guys. I'm not rich, so I hate waste and I poured way too much resin. And uh, I knew with my little transom or with my little skiff, I wanted to bulk up the transom um, on it because I only did one layer of 1708 to uh, hold the storage boxes in. Uh, so really quick what I did, well this is Kieran and I had that excess resin. I uh, went and sanded a cute couple spots really really good, um, got them really etched up really nice. Come back in with some acetone, wiped it up really good, let the acetone dry off. And then I came back in with some 1708 that I really quick hurried up and cut some more tabs for it. So right in that little corner, in that corner, I bulked it up 
So there's three layers of 1708 in that corner right now. Uh, but working with this four ounce chop strand, and the last time I worked with this stuff, I really needed one of the fin rollers because I killed my last one. I forgot to clean it before when I was done with it, so I ruined it. It was it was junk, so I threw it away. And the last one was at the glass shop. I forgot to grab it, grab a new one. So I'm gonna run to the glass shop really quick. I'm gonna grab another fin roll because I need a fin roller because I need it really really bad right now. Um, but stay tuned. Thank you. Just got back from my uh, local fiberglass shop. Got my fin rollers now. Let's start. While that bulkhead was curing, I did a bunch of sand and did like an hour and a half worth of sand. And... All right, this is the day after I did a bunch of grinding and sanding and I laid up two and a half gallons worth of, of resin on the little skiff. Uh, I built that bulkhead that you see right there behind me. And that's what I'm gonna do really quick is I'm gonna cut, grind and clean that up, wipe it down acetone. Um, sand it all, get it all ready to bit, get bonded down into the little skiff right here. You're not going to see in the video is uh, after I laid that all up. Um, I've been pushing something off on this little skiff for quite a while now. This top edge right here, as you can see right there, that whole top edge is like a spot where they like foam filled it. I'm guessing for like a oh shit flotation, like if something bad happened and you went down, you know, hopefully the boat would stay afloat for the most part. Uh, what I did is I, <clears throat> is I came in with uh, six ounces of two ounce chop strand. I used two ounces chop strand to three layers. I did first layer um, was a two inch or a six inch strip all the way down the side of the boat on both sides and then an eight inch strip, and then a 10 inch strip on top of that. So, should be pretty strong. Should be plenty durable, especially from what I've found on this boat. There's a lot of, uh, found a little bit of delamination in some spots. Um, found some air pockets, stuff like that. I fixed them. Um, did a lot of that little stuff out, off camera. Uh, but yeah, you're not gonna see that on film, because GoPro died, for one and then I, it was getting dark and I didn't really rush in and change the battery and all that stuff. So I laid up two and a half gallons of resin between that yesterday and that bulkhead that you see right there behind me. So I'm gonna get to cleaning that up, uh, sanding all the edges down. I'm gonna use my angle grinder and my five inch DA sander with a 40 grit sandpaper. Um, and then next after I do that, I'm gonna bond it into the boat, let it tack up really good and then hopefully tab it all in today as well and get it for the most part pretty well done and then I can get this video edited and posted for you guys. Uh, thank y'all. One more dry fit before I bond this thing down in the boat and I'm pretty happy with it. I got it cut out, trimmed up, and I'm pretty happy with it. It looks pretty sweet all the way around the outside. Got everything sanded really, really nice. And uh, gonna pop this thing out. I already wiped everything down with the acetone, got it cleaned up. I'm gonna mix up my fume silica and uh, quarter inch chopped strand fibers into my uh, polyester resin and get this thing bonded down all right here we go again this is how I make my peanut butter aka uh, thickened polyester resin um, how I do it I use my fume silica my uh, quarter inch chopped fibers and then obviously 
polyester resin. And then this is my MEKP -E uh, hardener, um, catalyst. I'm gonna get this mixed up, get it thickened up, and then we're gonna start laying the, the foundation, the, the bonding, so I can bond my bulkhead down in. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but I'm gonna bond my bulkhead in with it. Uh, here we go. I like to get it to about this consistency. It's like kind of droopy a little bit, a little drippy. Nice and thick though. And then I take an order or uh, mix in my quarter inch chopped strand fibers. And this is by eye. I just, I don't know, probably like a quarter cup maybe. Yeah, probably a quarter cup of, of the chopped strand fibers. I'm just gonna need a little more. Probably like three eighths of a cup in there. Yeah, like that. Looking good. Mix it, mix it up good. Looking like that. Looking nice and look at that. Now it's nice and thick. Not going nowhere. Pretty good. Mix in my hardener, my MEKP, and I kicked it a little bit hotter today. Uh, added in a little more hardener because I want to get this thing all bonded in today. Um, tacked up pretty quick, so before the sun sets, I can uh, get some 1708 over top of it, tab it all in, so pretty much call it done, and get inside and edit this video and hopefully get it posted for you guys on, on Monday. There we go. Make sure you get your, your catalyst mixed in super, super good. Just keep working it in. Mix it for like a minute or so. There we go. I'm liking that. Alright, I'm gonna go set the camera up. I'm gonna let this sit here for a second and then be, show you the next step. After I get my bulkhead dropped in on the thickened resin that I laid in on the hall, I just come in with my uh, plastic spoons and just work it in just really nice, make sure that everything's all filled properly. And uh, that's how I make my fillets because the radius of the tip of the spoon is perfect for fillets. Then I just got this, you know, just chunks of cardboard just to get rid of the excess that oozed out from even the spoon when I, when I made my fillet and just wipe it away and then that's about it right there it's looking pretty sweet all right i got that bonded down with peanut butter and uh now just letting the sun do its thing help me kick this thing off fast get it tacked up nice and solid so it's not going to wiggle around when i lay the glass over top of it and then next step just laying in my tabbing material my 1708 tabs i'm cutting out all my tabs while the bulkhead's curing I'm doing one five inch layer and then I'm gonna do a second layer of 1708 uh, eight inches so there'd be you know inch and a half of overlay on each side eight inch chunk is coming up taking my tabbing material wetting it out back there in the corner getting a resin all worked in now I'm taking the roller and I'm working in some more resin onto the bulkhead itself just to give the 1708 tab something to grab to. Working the 1708 tab in with my fingers. Now I'm going to take my scissors and do a relief cut just to help the 1708 lay down better and not cause any air pockets in the corners. Then I'm going to take a chop strand brush, just a two inch chop brush and really push the air pockets and anything out to um, help that 1708 bind bond down properly.
now I got both layers of the 1708 put down. Now I'm coming in with my fin roller right here and really working out all the air pockets and bubbles and everything. All right, and there it is. All done, all squared away. Um, I know in my last video I said I was gonna do the stringers in this little skiff, um, but that'll be in the next video. Um, got all this all tabbed in, it's still wet. I just literally just finished it up. Um, gonna let it kick overnight. I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna edit this video here and uh, get it hopefully get it posted by tomorrow. But thank you all again. Like, share, subscribe. Thank you.